welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy Fever Token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys step-by-step step everything that you guys need to do to purchase this token. I'd just like to let you guys know as well that I do have daily cryptocurrency tutorials coming out on this channel showing you guys how to buy, how to sell, and lots more within the crypto space. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I'd really recommend subscribing to this channel as I'll have lots of content coming out into the future. Anyhow, just stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how to buy the Fever Token. So first things first, we have to head over to Trust Wallet. And I'm not going to show you guys how to create your wallet or how to buy and transfer BNB into your smart chain wallet on Trust Wallet. I'm going to assume lots of you guys already know how to do that. If for whatever reason you don't know how to do that or if you're new, I'll have linked below videos showing you guys how to create your Trust Wallet and also how to buy BNB and transfer it into your smart chain wallet. So if you guys need those videos, I'll have those linked below. Uh, anyhow, uh, before we get started with this next step, you guys have to have your BNB in your smart chain wallet. So if you have bought it in your BNB wallet and you have it transferred in your BNB wallet, all you have to do to put it over to your smart chain wallet is click on more and swap to smart chain. So your BNB does have to be in your smart chain wallet. But once you guys have that done and you have all your BNB in your smart chain wallet, this is the next step we have to do. And that is to add the contact address for the Fever token into our trust wallet. So to do that, I'll have a link in the description and in the comment section over to BSE scan where we're going to copy the contact address and then paste it into our trust wallet. So if you guys just click on the BSE scan link I have, it'll bring you over to the BSE scan website. We're just going to scroll down and copy the contact address from right here under profile summary. Once we have that, we can go back over to trust wallet and open that up. Now what we want to do is we want to go to the top right corner where we see the two lines of the two circles. Just go ahead and click on that. Go to the search bar at the top and you want to paste that contract address up there. What we're going to see now is no assets found. Click on add custom token. And then here it's going to ask us the network. We're going to switch that to smart chain. Now what we're going to do is we're going to paste that contact address up here in the contact address section. And then it will preload the name, the symbol, and the decimals in here for us. Once we have that done here, we just want to click on save. Once you have that saved, we'll then have the Fever token spot in our Trust Wallet. Now, don't worry if the photo is not here currently. The token just came out, I believe, yesterday or a couple days ago. Uh, so they will, I'm sure, be adding the photo and stuff in here soon enough. Uh, but once we have that added into our Trust Wallet here, we can then go over to PancakeSwap to purchase the token. I'll have a link over to PancakeSwap in the description as well as in the comment section down below. Uh, so if you guys just go ahead and click on that link, it'll bring you over to your web browser and over to PancakeSwap. Uh, now, one thing I'll recommend for you guys to make sure that you guys will always use the proper PancakeSwap is you can go ahead and add this to your home screen. And to do that, you want to go ahead and click on this little share button at the bottom of your screen. Scroll down and click on add to home screen. What this is going to do is it's going to add a, an app on your home screen. So you're able just to click on the PancakeSwap app from now on rather than having to type in uh, the website and worrying about clicking on the wrong website. So it's very important to do this just to make sure that you're using the right PancakeSwap. But once you guys do this, it's the same process that you do on the app that you would do on Safari. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it on the app just because it works a lot better in, for the tutorial. Um, but all you guys have to do once you're on the PancakeSwap app or on PancakeSwap.Finance's website is you're going to be on this home page right here. And what we're going to have to do is go to the top left corner where we see the three lines and click on that. Then click on trade and then exchange. Once you guys are in the exchange portion right here, all you have to do is go to the top right corner where you see the connect button. Just go ahead and click on connect. And then you do not want to click on trust wallet right here. What you want to do is you want to click on wallet connect first. And then it'll pop up open this asking you to choose your preferred wallet and here we're going to click on trust wallet it's then going to pop up trust wallet here and open it up asking us to confirm this it's basically just asking you if you want to connect pancake swap to your trust wallet so you want to click on connect and then it'll tell us to go back to our browser or to pancake swap so we'll just head back over to our browser or pancake swap and then we'll know that our wallet is connected by seeing our wallet address up in the top right corner, as well as our balance being here uh, for our smart chain BNB. Now, for whatever reason, if you have BNB inside of your trust wallet and your balance isn't showing up after you've connected your trust wallet, just make sure, like I said before, that you have your BNB in your smart chain wallet. So then your balance will show up. Anyhow, once you see your balance for BNB in your exchange on PancakeSwap, we can click on select a currency. And what we're going to do is paste that exact same address that we got from BSC scan for the Fever token in here. So once we paste that in here, it's going to ask us to import the Fever token. And then we're going to click on I understand and then import. Once we have the Fever token in our exchange right here, we just have to change our slippage tolerance to 12%. So to change our slippage tolerance, we're just going to go beside exchange where it has the three lines right there. Click on that and then we'll be able to change this over to 12%. Once we have that done, we can then go ahead and decide how much BNB token that we want to transfer into the Fever token. So let's just say, for example, I want to transfer 0.2 BNB into Fever. I can then type in 0.2 BNB. 
and then it will show me how much fever token I'll get to exchange for my BNB tokens. Now, if you're happy with what you see here, you can click on where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. It should just be telling you here to swap. Once you click on that, it's going to open up another page showing you your withdrawal rates and things like that. If you're okay with what you see there, you can go ahead and click on confirm, and then it will tell you that your transaction has been successfully completed. Once you have that, you can exit out of PancakeSwap and go back into your trust wallet, and we could exit out of here. And then we'll be in our main part of our wallet and your fever token should arrive here within two minutes anyhow i really hope i was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to purchase the fever token in trust wallet with pancake swap this video did help you out be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content thanks for watching